Hi, this is Hardball Retro. Welcome to the Retrodome. Today we'll be playing game two of the 1965 through 1969 uh, Hardball Retro World Series between the Detroit Tigers and San Francisco Giants. Uh, the Giants won game one by a five to one margin. So let's jump right into game two. And uh, set the starting lineups and the uh, pitchers and get going here. And those are not the starting pitchers. We are going with. Nikki Lolich for the Tigers, and the Giants will counter with Juan Marichal. Both teams managed by computer. <clears throat> now facing a righty again. Uh, Tigers are facing a right hander. And I think we're keeping that lineup as is. Yes, we are. And the Giants are facing a left-hander, so let's see if that changes anything for them. My problem is these guys don't play other positions, so <coughs> as much as I think Ken Henderson should probably hit the bench. Uh, what is he? Lefty. One lefty, no center field. So, yeah, we barely have a Lou in left here. A Covey. Double check him. Yeah, he's a first baseman only. Cepeda, probably first base only. Yes. So we're a little bit stuck here for uh, outfield. Now, does Ken Henderson need to lead off? Probably not. So let's take a look at that. That's probably not the greatest. Tony Taylor does not have a great on base. I'm pretty sure Hal Lanier does not either. Felipe Alou, I think he should be probably our leadoff hitter. So we're going to move. Actually, let's just do this. We'll just swap them out for a second here. And we're going to put a Lou up first. If I understand that. And a Lou. We'll go in to the first slot in the lineup. He'll be in the left. Fix that. All right, you'll notice we're playing version 11 uh, just because that's what I started this replay with. Version 12 has an easy way to uh, swap the lineup positions. So it's, it's a little bit tedious, but it's what we got here. 
from Henderson down to the, actually, let's look at Pagan's numbers here. So maybe Pagan, he could play right field, couldn't he? But I like that. <coughs> so let's do that. <coughs> He'll go there. Tony Taylor goes here. Ooh, 595 OPS. He's not very good here. How about Tito Fuentes? Uh, not a whole lot better, but we're going to move him up. Oh, what is Dick Deeds doing hitting ninth? You know what? He doesn't play much versus lefties. How about John Orsino? Uh, yep, he's got a good OPS. He's going to be our catcher. So Orsino's in there. There we go. We're making some progress here. Apologize for the delay, but we want to get the <coughs> try to get the optimal lineup in here. Orsino. Orsino up to number six. Then Fuentes. And then is it gonna be Lemire or Taylor? <clears throat> oh, it's going to be Lanier by a long shot. There we go. All right. Well, I like that. That's better than what we had. So let's play ball. Okay, Marischal on the mound, McAuliffe leading off. And that's ball four. McAuliffe draws the base on balls. Bill Free in the batter. No outs, top of the first. And tries to pick him off, but he's safe. And that one's tapped out in front of home plate. And Orsino barehands it, throws down to first, and he's out of there. McAuliffe advances to second. Al Kaline, the batter. Oh, they sneak in behind McAuliffe, and Marischal steps off and bluffs to second, trying to keep him close. Swing and a high pop up to second. This one will bring rain. Fuentes waits and waits and waits. Finally, it comes down into his glove. <coughs> so two way for Rich Reese, the first baseman. <coughs> Strike three, swinging. Reese will take a seat. So, no score as we head to the bottom of the first. Ricky Loach on the mound. Felipe Alou, the leadoff man. There's a deep fly to left, and that's going to drop in there. Base hit. Single for Alou. All right, Orlando Cepeda. <clears throat> oh, swung on and missed. Cepeda fans, and that's one down. 
to say, hey kid, Willie Mays steps to the plate. Five all to left, and that's going to drop in there. Base hit for Mays, Alou, round second, and holds. And here is Willie McCovey. Lefty lefty matchup. Sharp grounder up the middle. Oh, what a stop by McAuliffe. He shovels the ball to Euler. And on to first. Incredible play. And they turn two, and that's gonna be the end of the inning. No score. Top of second. Willie Horton. Off the end of the bat, a little flare into right. Pagan has a beat on it, and he reaches down to make the catch. Jim Northrup is up, one down. Fly ball to left, Lou is there, and he pulls it in for the out. Willie Smith, the batter, two away. <clears throat> Smith hits it on the ground to first. He's up, up with his Cepeda. He bobbles it, and there will be no play. Charge the error to Cepeda. And Smith gets all the way to third. So here's Wood with two out. And strike three. Jake Wood will have to grab some time. Bottom of the second, Pagan, Orsino, and Fuentes do up. It's Jose Pagan, a right fielder today. Fly ball to left. Smith, that's a long run for Smith, and he pulls it in. Nice play. John Orsino, the catcher. Fly ball to center. K-line is there. He doesn't have to move. He got that one easily. Two down. Tito Fuentes. Second sacker. Outside. Ball four. Two down. Runner on first. Hal Lanier. Shortstop. Off throw, the tag, and he's safe. Grounded to third, and Wood kicks it. That's going to be an error on Wood, and Fuentes advances to second, so we've got two aboard. Tony Taylor. He's playing the hot corner today. Fly ball, and Smith will not get there in time. That's a single for Taylor. Fuentes, oh, he got the stop sign. He's got to hold up at third. All right, Felipe Alou. Base is loaded, two down. Lolich in trouble here. Bounding ball up the middle, past the pitcher's mound, and through the infield for a base hit. And that's going to score one. And the runner, the second runner, is thrown out at the plate. <clears throat> the Giants have a 1 0 lead here. And that was Euler. Fly ball to center. He pulls. Mays pulls that one in for the out, so one down. Dick McAuliffe skies that one to left. Lou takes a few steps to his right, and he puts it away for the out. So two quick outs here. Uh, Bill Freehan up with nobody aboard, two down. 
Pitch is on the way, hit on the ground, and that's going to get through the infield. Mays cuts it off in a hurry, and that's a single for Freehan. And here's K-Line, 0 for 1 today. Big hole on the right side, but he swings and misses, fooled by the breaking ball, and he's out of there. San Francisco with the 1-0 lead. Cepeda, line drive to short. Euler leaps, and he snares it. All right, Mays is up next. One for one so far today. Pops this one up in foul ground. Carrying towards the stands, but Northrop is there, and he makes the catch. All right, Willie McCovey, stretch. <clears throat> Hard grounder to first, taken there by Reese. No, it goes under his glove, and that's an error on Reese. McCovey scoots all the way to third. All right, Jose Pagan is up. Fly ball to center. K-line is there. Canicorn. And that's three outs. We've played three. The Giants with a 1-0 lead. <coughs> Rich Reese, the batter. Pops that one up towards third. Ball is way up there. Taylor is having trouble tracking it in the wind. He reaches out, but it ticks off his glove for an error. So Rich Reese aboard. Willie Horton, the batter. Sharp grounder up the middle. Oh, what a stop by Fuentes. Shovels to Lanier for one. On to first for two. Double play. That'll bring up Northrop. Two down in the top of the fourth here. Line drive to right. Over the infield and dropping in front of Pagan for a base hit. Clean single for Northrop. Smith strolls to the plate. So far, he's 0 for 1 today. Two down. Northrop stretching his lead at first. <coughs> oh, shallow fly to right. Pagan is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Okay, John Orsino, the batter. Facing Lulich. Well struck to right. Both are going back, but he has no chance. That one's well into the cheap seats. Home run for Orsino. Giants go up 2-0 now. There's Tito Fuentes. Skies that one to right. Northrop is there, and he puts it away. <coughs> One away for uh, Hal Lanier. Routine fly to right, Northrop under it, and he makes the catch. Tony Taylor, the batter. Way upstairs, ball four. Taylor with a free pass. Here's Felipe Alou, two for two today with an RBI. And Lolich is going to try his pickoff move again, but Re uh, Reese tags Taylor, but he's safe. On the grounded wood, juggles it, gathers it in, gets it over to Reese in time for the out. So there's four in the books with San Francisco 
I had two to nothing. <clears throat> All right, Jake Wood, the batter. Both for one today. He pokes it softly towards second, fielded by Fuentes. He'll have to hurry, and he throws too late. Woods really busted it up the line for an infield single. Settling in the boxes, Euler. 0 for 1 today, 0 for 3 on the series so far. Quick throw to first, Wood dives back. Safe. Grounder towards second, and Fuentes kicks it. That'll be an error, and Wood advances to second. So two aboard for Dick McCullough. Nobody out. And Marischal in a little bit of trouble here. Dominican Dandy on the mound. Hard liner to left. Over the infield, drops in front of Alou for a base hit. And we have the bases loaded as Wood has to put on the brakes. And he stops there at third. So things are getting a bit interesting now. Base is full for Bill Freehan. Pop up sky behind third. Third baseman's going back on it. Lanier is drifting over as well. Here comes the left fielder, and Lanier makes the catch. That was a near collision there. One down, base is juiced. And Al Kaline, the batter. Oh, he draws the walk, and it's two to one now. That'll force in a run. Rich Reese up there looking to do some damage. Base is loaded, one out. Marischal on the ropes. Oh, ground ball to Fuentes. Euler is trying to score a great throw home, and he's out at the plate. They cut him down at the plate, so bases are still loaded with two outs. Willie Horton, the batter. Come on, drive to right, over the infield, and that's going to be a base hit. Clean single for Horton. The call up scores. K line to third, Reese to second, and now it's 2 2. Bases still loaded, and Jim Northrup, the batter. Trying to break this one open here. He hits a two hopper to short. Lanier gloves it, and his throw is in time. Battle in the inning, but the Tigers not the score at two runs apiece. All right, Orlando Cepeda facing Mickey Lolich. All four. Uh, here comes the heart of the uh, Giants order here, Willie Mays. <clears throat> really a significant drop off after the top four hitters here. But. Oh, swing and a miss. Mays tried to hold up, but couldn't. All right, that brings up Willie McCovey. And he struck him out as well. Two down. Jose Pagan, Cepeda still hanging over there at first. Stretching his lead a bit. Cepeda goes. The throw from three and is not in time, and he's in there easily. All right, so now we have a runner in scoring position for Pagan. Oh, in the dirt, it gets by Freeman. They're going to charge Lolich with the wild pitch there. Cepeda advancing over to third. 
So now, go ahead and run is just 90 feet away. High drive to center and deep. K-Line going back, way back to the track. It's off the wall, just missed leaving the park. And Pagan will have to settle for a double. Cepeda scoring easily from third. And San Francisco is now up 3-2. to two. Here's John Orsino. Clubbed a home run his last time up. Rounds this one to second. A call up to the backhand. His throw is in plenty of time. All right. Willie Smith, the left fielder, steps in against Marischal. Swung on and missed. Down goes Smith. All right, Jake Wood, the batter. Grounds this one up the first baseline. Cepedo gloves it and takes it to the bag himself. Two outs, Ray Euler. Swung on and missed. Whiffed on the breaking pitch, so we head to the bottom of the sixth with San Francisco up three to two. Tito Fuentes facing Mickey Lowich. Fly ball to center. K line is there and he doesn't have to move. Easy out. Hal Lanier, shortstop, steps in there. And lines that one to left. Smith takes it on one bounce, and that's a single for Lanier. <clears throat> Tony Taylor up, Lanier on first. Oh, way outside. That one gets away from Freeman. Wild pitch. Lanier advances to second. Oh, and they're going to make a pitching change here. And that'll be Bob Humphreys coming on to replace Mickey Lolich. So Taylor back in the box. One for one today with a walk. Lined hard. That ball is absolutely hammered to center field. No chance for K-Line. He's going to have to play that one off the wall. Double for Taylor. Scoring from second is Lanier. And the Giants now lead 4-2. to Go back to the top of the lineup. Felipe Alou. High pop to second. Easy out for McCullough. All right, Orlando Cepeda, the batter. Liner to center. K-line is there, and he makes the catch. So the Giants tally another one, and it's 4-2. to two. Marischal still in there. Dick McAuliffe, the batter. Oh. Smacks that one right to second baseman Taylor, who, uh, sorry, third baseman Taylor. And he snares that one for the out. And free and lines that one, but right to Lanier. Two quick outs for Marischal in the uh, top of the seventh here. Here's Al K line. That's a fly to left. The lose got it. And here's the seventh inning stretch. All right. Giants with a 4 2 lead. <coughs> Willie Mays. Swung on and missed. 
strike three. Here's McCovey facing Humphreys. Get on the ground in the left field. That's going to be a single for McCovey. Is a pecan. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down. John Orsino. Ball to left, slicing away from Smith, and he can't get to it. Gets by him and goes to the wall. That's going to be a two-bagger for Orsino. McCovey stops at third. Here's Tito Fuentes. Uh, Drago's on the mound, too. Liner into left for a base hit. And Orsino is out at the plate, but uh, not before they score a run. So now 5-2 to two Giants, and we head to the top of the eighth. San Fran is pulling away here in the late innings. They've notched a run in the, each of the last four innings. Uh, Reese grounds out to short. Then here over it is Cepeda for the out. Willie Horton the batter. One down. Marichal delivers. High pop up to second. Fuentes battling the wind and he stays with it to put it away. That was tougher than it looked. Now we are playing in Candlestick Park, so anything is possible. And Northrop grounds that one through the infield. Pagan comes over, but that'll get past him. Score that at double for Northrop. So the Tigers got something cooking here with two outs. Marichal delivers to Willie Smith. Big bouncer to short up in the air to get it as Lanier, but he can't get the ball out of his glove. They're going to rule that one as an error. Northrop advances to third, so... First and third, two down, and Bob W. Johnson is going to pinch hit for Jake Wood here. All right, runners at the corners, two away. Hard grounder through the infield, and that's going to split the outfielders. Pagan chasing it down. And yeah, that's going to be two bases for Johnson. Northrop scores from third. Smith advances to third. And now we've got second and third. Two away for Ray Euler. And cut on and miss. He goes down on strikes. Bottom of the eighth. The Tigers did score one there, so it's 5-3. <coughs> Here goes back to the dugout to grab a new bat. And now he tags the line drive up the middle, off the bag, and into center field. And that'll slow it down perfectly for K-Line. Lanier is going to have to settle for a single. So runner aboard, Dick Drago pitches to Tony Taylor. And that one misses ball four. So two aboard, top of the batting order. For San Fran, Felipe Alou, the batter, two for four with an RBI today. Lines that one to Johnson. Caught. With one out, first and second for Cepeda. Orlando Cepeda playing first base today. Covey DHing. Skies this one towards second. McAuliffe calls for it. 
And it settles in his glove for out number two. Willie Mays, the batter, pops this one in the air to short center. K-line settles under it, makes the grab. All right, top of nine here. Got a couple of things going on here. Ken Henderson is a defensive replacement in right. Teddy Fisher in from the bullpen. Looking to lock down a save here for Marischal. And top of the order for Detroit. Here's McAuliffe. Skies that one to right. And Henderson, who just entered the game as a defensive replacement, he will make the catch. One away, Bill Free in the batter. Taps that one out in front of the plate. Orsino pops out and fields it, throws the first for the out. Two outs, K line at the dish. Listed weakly to the left side, a tough play nonetheless for the charging Cepeda, and he throws too late to get K-Line. Infield single. Looks like Fisher was a little bit late covering first there. Oh, Reese gets plunked, so now there's first and second two outs, and the Tigers are still breathing here, barely, but... Willie Horton, the batter, two aboard, two down. And he swings right through it for strike three. You can put this one in the books. San Francisco goes up two games to none with a 5-3 to three victory. All right, save it. Yes. Put that one in the books. Box score, Marichal with the win. Orsino, player of the game honors, two for four with the homer. Do a quick recap here. And let's see. And uh, Northrop with two hits, RBIs out of K-Line, Horton, and Bob Johnson. The Giants had a couple of hits from Alou, Orsino, Lanier, Taylor. Uh, Orsino with the home run. And RBIs from Alou, Pagan, Orsino, Fuentes, and Taylor. Lowich takes the loss, five and a third, three earned. Uh, Humphreys gave up a run in relief. Drago got allowed three base runners, didn't give up a run though. Marischal, he pitched uh, fairly well, I would say. Eight innings, seven hits, uh, three runs, only one earned couple of walks and six strikeouts. Eddie Fisher picks up the save. Uh, one inning, one hit, one strikeout. All right, folks, that'll do it for us here today. Uh, be sure to uh, stop back here soon for uh, game number three as we head uh, back to the Motor City. And uh, until then, keep playing ball, and we'll see you soon. Take care.